So if you're anything like me, you probably have gone out, photographed something, and you get your photos back into the computer, and it just looks a little weird. This is usually due to a white balance not working the way that you expected it to, but the good news is if you shot in RAW, you're gonna be able to correct this using On One Photo RAW. Today's video is exactly the steps that I take whenever I mess up something in the field. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of Almond Photo Raw with the image that I just completely flubbed up. And really what happened is I left my camera set to the white balance for my flash from a different photography session. In this image, I didn't use flash at all. And obviously, you can tell what the result looks like. It just looks a little off. Now, it's not completely off. It's not completely weird. It's just a little off. And you can tell over here where things probably should have been a little bit more towards green. They just look a little too blue. Now to correct this, it's actually really, really simple. What we're gonna do is come over to the develop module and then we're gonna come down to color. And this is the first place that I recommend that you start. Now, looking at this, you can see with the white balance set to as shot, I'm sitting very, very blue on this image and it looks pretty bad. But as soon as I start to pull this over to the right, you can see I bring back the warmth and now I'm starting to get some greens where things are supposed to be green. Unfortunately, I don't have a reference card. So what I have to do is really look at this to the eye. And if you really want to make sure that you get things accurate in camera or accurate in post-production, it's good to take a picture of something that is white or gray in the lighting and then bring that into on one and then set your color balance that way or your white balance that way. But I don't have that. So I have to do this by eye. And this is actually looking pretty good. Now, if I don't like that, I can also pull up on the tint and add in some magenta here and then maybe cool it off a little bit more. And I have complete control over reestablishing the white balance. Now I'm going to reset this to as shot and I'm just going to pull up on my temperature slider here until I get the greens roughly where I want them to be. And I think that that looks pretty good. So now if we go with the before where things just look really, really blue and I'm not even sure if this is what we looked at previously, but this is the photo straight out of camera with the blue tint, tone, whatever. And this is what we corrected the image to. There's just a huge difference. Let me interrupt for a quick second and let you know that On One Photo Raw is having a virtual conference. It's called the Raw Unleashed conference. And this is going to be a great opportunity for guest speakers to share their knowledge and understanding of On One Photo Raw and giving you creative ideas of how you can use it in your own workflow. Now, some of the speakers that you're going to have at the conference, you already know, like Dan and Dylan. Then there's going to be people that are outside of the On One team, such as Scott Davenport, Scott Kelby, Anthony Morganti, Austin Jackson, and Rick LePage. I think this is going to be a great conference conference for anyone who's looking to really grow in the richness and knowledge and uh, the usability of on one photo raw in their own workflow. So consider buying a ticket today. And if you want to save a little bit of money, consider using my coupon code freewillphotos20. If you check the description box of this video, you will find the link to the page where you can purchase a ticket. And if you got questions, leave it in the comment section below. Now, let's get back to our content. Now, one of the things you gotta be careful of is editing inside of the local to correct your white balance. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this, invert the mask, and then I'm gonna come all the way down here and you can see, I actually have a different type of temperature gauge, if you will. It starts at zero and all of the color features or color tools, they start in the middle and they start at zero. If I pull to the right, obviously it's going to increase. And you can see just by moving this 12 points to the right, it starts to increase really, really big and really impact the image. I don't know if really, really big is the best way of saying that, but hey, 
That's how I set it. If I pull this to the left, you can see that it doesn't impact the image, this particular image as much, but with other images, your photo, it may impact it a lot. So what is the difference between using the temperature slider inside of the local adjustment versus the develop adjustments? The difference here is the develop adjustments are working at the raw level, all right? It's working with the zeros and ones that make up your raw image. The proprietary software that makes up the raw image on one reads that, and then it starts to decipher it. When you mess with the color or really anything for that matter in this particular module or segment of the editing module, you are working at the raw level of your image manipulating the data. Once you've manipulated the data and you've told on one what you want to render, when you come over to the local, you're working with that rendered version of the data. You're no longer working with the raw material, right? And then, you know, the whole point of working in the local is really so you can start to mask in certain things. So that's the difference. And then of course, if you come to effects, and you add in a color enhancer, you'll get another instance of modifying the temperature. And this one actually has all of the white balance information here. And this is working the exact same way as the local adjustment is with the temperature slider starting at zero. So a little goes a long way. Now, which is which? Like I mentioned before, the develop module is all about working with the ones and zeros, the raw data, the, the basic algorithm that builds the raw file and allows you to really start to develop your image, all right? Think of this as stage one. Stage two could go between local or effects. So if you want to manipulate something inside of the local adjustments, then you absolutely can. And it's just working on top of that raw render. Then you can go to stage three, and this could be stage two if you didn't do anything inside of local. And here, again, I like to think of effects as the place of styling the image and making something really creative with the image, as opposed to creating or correcting. You could do some corrections here, but really all of your correcting should happen between develop and local, or at least that's the way that I like to use on one. Now, there is something really important that I have to point out if you didn't catch it already. You want to use raw photos when you are editing inside of On One Photo Raw for that develop module to really recover the white balance. And that is really across the board in any photo editing software. If you want to accurately or have the most flexibility when recovering white balance, you want to photograph in RAW. This is one of the benefits of using that file format when you are capturing your images out in the field or wherever you capture your images. Now, I want to make a clear distinction of what happens inside of On1 when you use a JPEG file instead of a RAW file in the develop segment. You can see we're under develop and I have this sliding scale that starts at zero. Instead of using Kelvin, which is what the camera uses, this starts at zero when you load a JPEG file into On1. And that could be the difference that you're seeing if you are working with JPEG files instead of raw files or DNG files, which is just another raw file format. With that being said, where it says temperature here, if I pull this over to the right, this is working way more drastically, if that's the best way of saying that, when it's impacting the image. But this is essentially the exact same thing that's found under the color adjustments. Now, the reason for this, if you're editing a JPEG image, that means all of the raw decisions have already been made. If you're photographing JPEG straight out of camera, that means your camera made the decision. It baked in a color profile. It baked in the exposure settings and all of those adjustments. So it's no longer giving you the ability to manipulate those as drastically in post-production. So what would I recommend? If you're editing a JPEG file, instead of starting in develop, I recommend that you just jump over to effects and then you use the color enhancer tool and you modify your image as need be if that's something that you want to do because 
Essentially, the first two steps have already been done for you, either by your camera or another photo editing software. To learn more about how to use white balance with portraits, check the video that's popping up on the screen now. If you wanna save some money when picking up On One Photo Raw or purchasing anything over on the On One store, consider using my affiliate coupon code, FreeWillPhotos20, when you check out. I make a small commission from everyone who uses it, and I greatly appreciate it. With that being said, I'd love to hear your comments down below. And until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.